afternoon. We start with breaking news this afternoon. Police investigating allegations of an establishment paedophile ring that abused children during the 70s and 80s says they're actively looking into the possible murders of three young boys. The claims centre on a series of claims that child sex parties were held at a residential apartment complex in Dolphin Square in Westminster, which was popular with MPs and the security services at the time. Let's take a look at the key developments for you so far this afternoon. Detectives had already said they were investigating a homicide claim, but this lunchtime they went further, stating they were now looking into three possible murders. They're also looking at abuse at military bases in London and the home counties over the same period of time. And the officer leading the inquiry made an appeal for men who might have been abused and other potential witnesses to come forward. Scotland Yard detectives have just been briefing journalists on these latest developments. Tom Parmenta was among them, joins us now. Three possible murders, Tom. They are gravely serious allegations and they are based on one witness called Nick. It's not his real name, but he's come forward to the police in the last couple of months and has given the police what they say as something they believe is a true and credible account of abuse at parties in London as a young boy and also how he had information relating to three potential young boys being killed as part of that abuse. So deeply serious allegations, complex for the police to try to investigate it after so many years, but they say that they will, they will go where the evidence takes them, wherever that may be. So Nick is one person who has given information to the police. Another is someone that we call Michael, who spoke to us first three years ago about being taken from his care homes in North Wales to be trafficked, bussed down to London to be abused by groups of powerful men. This week he has taken us to the area of London where he says he was abused. This is Michael's story. As a young boy from a Welsh care home, the streets of Pimlico seemed like a different world back in the 1980s. Michael only saw these streets because he and other kids were bussed down here at weekends, plied with alcohol and sexually abused by powerful men. He knows it was here but can't say exactly where. Well, I know I've definitely been, been here before. Um, when I was a kid, I brought down these, down these streets. Could, could be any of these streets, but, um, yeah, this is where the flat was, this is where we were brought as kids. On a minibus from, from North Wales. In that, in that summer. Get every, get every covered up. Because MPs were involved, you know. Ministers were involved, cabinet ministers. I know they were. Even though they, to us they were, they, were, they were kind of good days out because um, we'd be taken to London afterwards and, you know, kind of spoiled. And when we were kids from North Wales, we'd never seen London and Regent's Park Zoo or Hyde Park or Big Ben and all that stuff. And we had to put up with some nonsense that some people did. A night time, you know, in a, in a flat. We first heard from Michael three years ago, but this time he wants to show us this area. He wanted to appear on camera. He doesn't want to hide like the men who abused him. Part of me died here. Definitely. We thought they were doing us a massive favour by bringing us here. We felt special and being part of something. Didn't think it'd be, it'd be, you know, it'd be, it'd be a beautiful rink. And how old were you, do you think, at this time, the stage when they were bringing you down? Yeah. 11, 12 years old. He's since been back on these streets with police officers trying to identify the property where he says the parties took place. Yeah. But his health problems are stopping him from taking it further. I just feel as many people that are coming forward, as many people drop out. And I, I got no faith in, in the Home Office or, or the government to protect, protect us, you know, the things I guess. It's a five minute walk from these streets to Dolphin Square by the River Thames. The police say they have another credible witness who has said he was abused at parties here. He's also prompted them to start a murder investigation, looking at claims three young boys were killed, although not necessarily at Dolphin Square. The complex has always been popular with politicians because it's a short walk from here 
to the Palace of Westminster. There are further allegations of abuse in Lambeth, Barnes, Islington and Richmond, but much of it can be linked back to Westminster. The government has started its independent inquiry, but still hasn't found somebody suitable to lead it. I think there's something of a schism within the cabinet in terms of the whole child abuse uh, inquiry. I think uh, the Prime Minister, and I don't say this lightly, but I think the Prime Minister is quite dismissive of the issue and wants to move on from it. Whereas the Home Secretary, Theresa May, I think, is very serious about uh, wanting to pursue this. She's right to say, if we're talking about the tip of the iceberg. The Prime Minister has said he is fully committed to it and has promised to leave no stone unturned. In a perfect world, these people are going to be caught by a fingerprint or, or by, you know, CV and, and they can't, but it's going to be my word against, against this and uh, they're going to win hands down. Sky News understands that arrests are inevitable in the new year. Whether they'll bring about justice for Michael is another matter. It all happened a long time ago, but they were 11, 12 or 13 years old. It was as wrong in the 1980s as it is today. And today they're telling us, Tom, that the police, that they're investigating three potential murders. Do we know anything more about who these young boys might be? As you can imagine, there were many more questions than the police were able to provide answers at the press briefing they gave here at East Scotland Yard this lunchtime, of course. Many people wanted to know exactly what were the circumstances of these deaths, how old were these boys, and exactly who they might be. But the police said, for quite understandable reasons, they can't go into those details at this stage, but they believe the account. They believe Nick, this witness that they have got into their investigation, who they say is credible, and that is why they are leading this murder investigation. Now, exactly where that goes and who it involves is one thing. The wider issue of these abuse parties that were going on where boys from care homes or from elsewhere were abused. That is also part of these police inquiries that are going on. I think where we are now is an unprecedented spot in relation to the government looking back at this, trying to give every commitment they possibly can to the survivors, those who suffered so much throughout this abuse for so many years afterwards. And also from the police today to say they will go where the evidence takes them, wherever that might be. Okay, thank you. Hollywood celebrities have criticised.